Messianic Rabbi Seth Porath, and welcome to a special news update report from Israel. There was a massive earthquake in Iran and in Iraq. Benjamin Netanyahu, the Prime Minister of Israel, shocked the world when he said that he wants to send humanitarian help to help the Iranian people and said, we're not against the Iranian people, we're against the government who wants to massacre and destroy Israel. And he said, we are the light of the world. He was quoting from Isaiah 49, 6. This is amazing. Many have said that maybe Benjamin Netanyahu secretly believes in Jesus and Yeshua. Others have said that it's possible because he's all the time with fellowship with Christians, that that light, that those words are somehow speaking through him. One thing is certain, Israel is called to be the light to the nations. We pray that Benjamin Netanyahu and the people of Israel come to know the true light of the world, John 8, 12, Yeshua HaMashiach. Let's have a look at the video of Benjamin Netanyahu that is shocking the people of Israel. I'm proud that Israel has helped thousands of Syrian civilians injured in the horrific war. Now, I just saw the pictures of the destruction in Iran and Iraq following this, uh, this week's earthquake. And I saw the, these heartbreaking images of men and women and children buried under the rubble. So I'm proud to announce tonight that a few hours ago, I directed that we offer the Red Cross medical assistance for the Iraqi and Iranian victims of this disaster. Now, you heard me right. I've said many times that we have no quarrel with the people of Iraq. Our quarrel is only with the tyrannical regime that holds them hostage and threatens our destruction. But our humanity is greater than their hatred. Israel continues to be a light unto the nations. As you can see in the video, it is a message of love. One thing is certain, this is an evangelistic tool here in Israel to show people that we love our enemies, that we love those that persecute us, that we love those who want to destroy us. And the Bible says that love conquers all. Let's stand together as the one new man, Ephesians 2.15, and pray for the salvation of the lost sheep of Israel. Until next time, I'm Messianic Rabbi Zev Porat reporting from Israel with a news update. Shalom.